Hey guys, DV Tutorials here with part one of our 12 part precision build series. Here is the original Dell Precision T5500 desktop computer that I purchased used on eBay for $180 with shipping. Let's open this computer up and check out the components included with the original system. First off, we have 12 gigabytes of DDR3 ECC RAM. We also have a 250 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, along with an 875 watt power supply, a DVD writer, an Intel Xeon 5650 6 core processor, an NVIDIA Quadro 4000 graphics card, a RAID card, and Windows 7 Professional. On the rear of the computer, we have a number of available ports, including two display ports, a DVI port, a serial and parallel port, along with six USB ports, as well as audio and Ethernet ports. On the front panel of the computer, we have two additional USB ports, along with a headphone and mic plug. There is also space for two disk drives and a 3.5 inch floppy or card reader. Here are all of the components we plan to upgrade in the computer. First off, we have a CPU riser board with a second Xeon processor and an additional 24 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. We also have an EVGA GTX 1050 graphics card with four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. We also have a RAID card, a FireWire card, a Netgear Wi-Fi adapter, along with thermal paste, 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a second Xeon 5670 processor, Windows 7 Professional 64-bit, a one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Black 7200 RPM hard disk drive, a Seagate 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard disk drive, two light-on solid state drives which are 128 gigabytes each, and a card reader and Blu-ray drive. Over the course of our new 12-part series, we will be detailing the process of upgrading the Precision T5500 computer step-by-step. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.